Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today is the day, finally, the trailer for the Suicide Squad has dropped. Uh, we got that little teaser trailer at DC Fandom last year, uh, and since then there's been nothing. But, yesterday, James Gunn announced on Twitter that the trailer would be dropping today, and then today, uh, there were a series of posters that came out, and now the trailer is out. So I don't want to beat around the bush this time, guys. I'm going to get right into this reaction. I do want to note, though, that uh, it is kind of sad because um, nothing against James Gunn or anybody associated with this movie. Uh, but I think Warner Brothers does want this to come out to bury the Snyder Cut. But that's a whole nother video. So let's get into my reaction for the Suicide Squad's first trailer. Okay, here we go. Time to react to the trailer for the Suicide Squad starting in 3, 2, 1. Just a uh, MPA thing. Apparently, it's R-rated. Whoa, bus. Ooh. Harley might be dead. Dangerous people. I wonder if they're gonna reveal the villain. <laughs> Here to save you. <laughs> okay, so that's her for maybe she went missing so they formed the team to s rescue her. Successfully complete the mission. Is Pete Davidson <laughs> wearing his Crocs? Hmm, <laughs> Weasel. Sean Gunn. Alright, so that this is just uh, normal Suicide Squad fare so far. Famous, eh? <laughs> Horribly beautiful mind of James Gunn. Ooh, Nathan Fillion right there. I really like... <laughs> King Shark looks really good. Well, in that specific shot, he doesn't look great. But he looks pretty good in, like... More light. <laughs> I hope so. I like that it's international, which is like how the uh, uh, comics were. So I guess the thinker is also uh, joining in during the events of the movie. And there's Peter Capaldi, the doctor. <laughs> why would someone put penises all over the beach? They are dying. The soundtrack is awesome. It is suicides. The cinematography looks great. Wow. A little bit of teamsmanship there at the end. <gasps> Starro! Yes! Starro is in this. Maybe he's not the main villain, but he's in this. Which is exciting. <laughs> Ooh. Here we go. In theaters and on HBO Max, August 6th. Alright. So that was the trailer. I really enjoyed it. Uh, clearly, Warner Brothers has put a lot of trust into James Gunn. I think he said on Twitter that there were no reshoots for this movie. Which is um, kind of insane because Warner Brothers doesn't do that. I guess maybe this is them learning their lesson um, from Justice League and Suicide Squad. Um, maybe it's just them going, oh, well, uh, Suicide Squad was supposed to be our Guardians of the Galaxy. And now we have the guy that's doing Guardians of the Galaxy. So I guess uh, we should let him do whatever he wants. Maybe it's that. I don't know. But... Um, yeah, I, I'm really excited for this movie. Uh, Starro was uh, rumored for a long time. If you don't know, Starro is like this uh, big starfish uh, alien thing that like kind of controls people's minds. It's, uh, he was the villain in the first Justice League uh, comic, like the first issue. Uh, and um, yeah, he he's kind of known as one of those B-list villains that 
I, I want to say he made a cameo in the Lego Batman movie, uh, if, if that gives you a feel of um, who he is as a character. Um, so yeah, this is a really great trailer, really great potential in this movie. I love the Guardians movies, I love James Gunn, I love the Scooby-Doo movies, which he also wrote. Um, so I'm really, uh, really excited for this movie. Uh, I, I was really hoping they would reveal who the villain is. Maybe Starro isn't the main villain. Maybe they'll do some twists and have somebody else. Maybe they'll go... Uh, I, if you didn't know, check it out. I did a video recently where I fixed the 2016 Suicide Squad movie with some of my own ideas. And in that, I did kind of go with the angle of Amanda Waller kind of being the... Um, uh, the intellectual uh, villain for the Suicide Squad, while Enchantress was more the physical villain. Maybe they'll do something like that and have Amanda Waller be more of a threat to the squad itself. Though, in this trailer, uh, while she is definitely her scary self, um, it, it, with the music and everybody else around her, she seemed like a l kind of harmless in a way. Not, not in a bad way or anything. I'm sure she'll be even more menacing in the actual movie. But let me know, guys. Are you going to see this movie? I'm going to go see it. I'm probably going to see it in theaters just because I think it's going to be a really good experience. Uh, and, uh, I mean, uh, Warner Brothers, if COVID clears up by then, could very well just say, okay, it's not on HBO Max, it's all in theaters. Uh, because I think in that trailer where they revealed they were doing everything in theaters and on HBO Max, uh, they put in fine print at the bottom, subject to change, so that they could do that in case that happened. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe for daily videos on the franchises you love. In fact, today there are going to be two videos. Um, because later I'm doing my review of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Episode 2. So subscribe for that. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow or later today. Bye.